Okay, so I got more of this hollowed out and I wanted to show you what I found. I have an old Weller um, soldering iron and it's a pretty crappy soldering iron. It's really not good for soldering. So, But I found that it actually works fairly well working on EPP foam. So you remember in the previous segment, I showed you how all these beads were just sitting in there. And I, if I, if I, if I tap the uh, canopy down on, on my table here, I could actually get one or two of those beads to pop out. So what I did was I took the, um, old soldering iron that I have, and I used it like a, a hot wire pencil. And I basically melted the sides here. I, I melted the top so that these these beads are all melted into each other i was able to open this up quite a bit more with the uh with the um, soldering iron and then as you can see i have been able to hollow out quite a bit of that space in there so you know in the up by the nose i was able to square it off up by the nose i was able to square it off in the back and now it does leave all this you know this melted foam it's it's full of ridges you know it's very very rough so i think at this point what i'm going to do um between the exacto knife and using my old soldering iron i can pretty much work this foam how i want and uh, so what i'm going to do next now that i found a little better way of of uh, basically melting this foam and molding it into into you know the type of carving that you want i'm going to take my dremel tool with a little sanding disc and i'm going to see if i can sand some of this out smooth and then what i want to do is put a little piece of plywood or maybe a popsicle stick or something and glue it inside here with a little piece of velcro on top of it so that i can install my battery and now you can see let me see i'll push this battery as far forward as i can and that canopy is going to go on there and it's going to close fine and if i want you know i can just spin the battery around and i've got it all the way toward the back now and the canopy will close with it pushed all the way back too so i've probably got uh probably about 30 30 millimeters of movement for that battery now so i don't think i'm going to have a problem getting the cg correct on that but we will see if that will work. I just wanted to see if I if I set this battery on the end, would I be able to close the canopy? And yeah, it looks like it. So that's fantastic. So even if I set this battery on end, I'm able to close that canopy. I probably carved out I carved out a lot more than I thought I was gonna need to. I probably carved out about five millimeters of space inside this canopy right here so yeah um, you could even set the battery on edge and and get the canopy closed so at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to see if i can sand this down a little you know quite a bit smoother than what it is right now and then when i get that done i'll show you what it looks like before I glue in, I probably, I'll probably just use a popsicle stick. I'll probably use a popsicle stick with uh, Velcro on the top of it, put Velcro on my battery so that when I put it in the canopy, it's not going to move around. And I think that will, you know, except for hinging the canopy, that's going to finish up this portion of the fuselage. And the next step is going to be carving out a compartment for our receiver, our speed controller, and our voltage regulator. So we're we're uh, we're moving along now. I don't. I think this is going to make it a lot easier. Before I work on another one of these planes, though, I'm going to tell you I am going to make. I'm going to fabricate a, a hot wire cutter. I think a, a very thin piece of wire, maybe about 0.25 millimeters in diameter, a hot wire cutter would really work well on this. So I will make sure that I fabricate one of those before I try this again. So. Anyway, that's where we are right now. As soon as I see if I can get this smoothed out with a, a Dremel tool, we'll be back to take a look at it. Okay, so using my Dremel tool and just this little sanding wheel, I was able to smooth it out 
it's not great I mean it's it's not it's not extremely smooth but it is a heck of a lot better than what I started with and I think I have it at a point now where I will be able to take a, a popsicle stick with uh, velcro on it and glue it down on top of this foam and I think it'll be secured so yeah so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a popsicle stick ready to go inside the fuselage put some velcro on the battery and then I think we'll work on the hinge for the canopy cover so we'll be back okay so I've taken a popsicle stick and I've cut it to length so it will fit inside this fuselage I cut a piece of velcro and attached the velcro to it now I've got my and I attached some velcro to the two cell lipo and now I've got my hot glue gun I'm gonna just lay a bead of hot glue inside the bottom of this canopy or this uh, part of the fuselage where the canopy goes over and and glue in this little popsicle stick with the velcro on it and I think that's going to hold our battery in place so it's not moving around oh let me grab my hot glue gun and let's get a bead of glue in here Okay, that's a pretty liberal amount of glue, but I want to make sure that it holds this stick in place. And I think that will hold our battery in place to keep it from moving around and our canopy cover still goes on and fits flush so I think that is going to work whether I've got it um, pushed all the way back or all the way forward I think that's going to work to keep our battery from moving around. So pause it here and I'll come up with an idea for doing our hinge for our canopy cover. Okay, so what I did with the with the canopy cover was I just cut a narrow strip of packing tape and taped across the top once I had the um, canopy cover seated properly and across the nose of the glider and it's not the prettiest hinge but it is functional and then I took another narrow piece of of uh, packing tape just large enough to be able to to squeeze the the two pieces of tape together to reinforce the hinge then what I did was I took my hot glue gun and I put a little tab of hot glue on the very back of that canopy cover yeah, I think while it's in flight, I think that that, I think that that fuselage, that canopy cover will stay closed with that friction fit with the hot glue. So, on to the next step.